Hey everybody, this is Jedi DJ with HalfFullReviews.com. Today I'm going to give you guys a quick look at MechWarrior Online. It is a robot shooting, driving uh, battle arena. So you basically PvP versus other robots on two big teams, usually you know, 10 or so people on each team. Um, and I want to give you guys a little closer look at some not gameplay, almost some like um, building and picking out of mechs and that kind of thing as well, and then I'll show you a quick match. So if we go here to select mech, I currently own just two. Oh, I should own two. Uh, oh, there we go, I do own two. There we go, sorry. Light, I own this guy over here. And then medium, I only own two so far, but there's actually a bunch of free-to-play options too, so I only buy them if I like it. And I've tried it a few times, so you kind of pick this out. And say you want to let's do the light one now with that, because I already did one on the video with the medium mech. So let's show off this light mech. Let's go to the mech lab. Now we, this is our head, right torso, left torso, arms, and this is like the center torso body here. You can change the engine you put on it. Um, if you go over here, equipment on the right, sensors, miscellaneous, jump jets you can put on so it can fly, engines. XL engines, you can change the size of the engine, which adjusts like, how fast it goes, how heavy it is. You have tonnage up here is how much weight you can put on the the uh, robo, the mech. And then over here you can add extra stuff like um, better armor and heat sinks and missile guidance. Um, and then I have medium lasers here on it, so you know that's enough. It kind of gives you an idea of. Um, oh, and then here's the weapon groups. Quick, let's put these two on the same one. I would like to do that. The lasers on there. Alright, so now left click's gonna do lasers and right click's gonna do missiles. Got a quick play here. Oh wait, I think we need to click save. Hang on. No, we don't need to click save, we're good. Quick play. So I'm not gonna fast forward this because I want to kind of give you guys an idea how long it takes to match make. It does take a minute or two sometimes. Um so once you get your mech picked out, I just like to hit the quick play, but you can play faction play, or you can play um, with friends and then group up and go into matches. Um, there's different matches when you get put in either way. You vote for a map. After you vote for a map, you vote for the type you want to play. It's a skirmish, assault. Um, let's do like Terra Therma. Vote for that. And then up here, got map vote player. I have a time six because my map hasn't been chosen. So I get like a huge vote um, to cast. And since it didn't get chosen again, it'll go like time seven or eight next time. So each time they try to make your voice heard by making sure you get a higher percentage vote until your map gets picked. So that's kind of a neat thing I haven't seen before. So looks like we're just playing skirmish. It's last robo standing. If you guys want to see some more videos, you can check us out on uh, YouTube at Half Full Reviews. I have a couple other Mech Warrior videos up where it just I jump you straight to the game and don't waste time showing you the robot and stuff. Um, and I also have a full review at our website, halffullreviews.com. You can see that review and other video games, um, movie reviews, some uh, artwork and such. Okay, ready up here. To look at the map. We're playing a light mech. It's a JR7-D, so it's really fast and has a, a kind of lighter armaments than some of the heavier ones. It's very delicate too, so if we take a couple of hits, our mech's going to be completely toasted. <coughs> These matches usually last like 10 to 15 minutes or less sometimes. They can be as short as 5 minutes sometimes, so depends how aggressive both teams get. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Let's boogie. All systems nominal. I'm gonna zoom out here and show you the mech. 
So uh, the zoom out view is kind of cool because you can see what's going on around you a little better. But the downside is you don't get a map, so it kind of forces you to, <laughs> to zoom back in so you can get your radar. <laughs> collision damage in this game, so if you hit another robot you take damage even if it's friendly. You can also shoot your allies, which isn't good. Fuel at 25%. We're going to stay with these big boys up here. going to hide behind them, maybe run out and draw some fire after the fight starts. Scouting up here. There's one. Target acquired. New target. New target acquired. system for a second. Shot our weapons a little too much. spotting a 
assist. So if you wait to the end of the game, you actually continue to get um, assists and all that. We can actually. That's a wrap. Well, as you can see, you only get one spawn in this game, so once your robot dies, you're out for the match. So you can actually leave early and you'll still get your sea bills for it, which is kind of like your money. Um, but uh, sometimes it's fun to stay and watch and see what goes on. Um, I mean, now, see, I went up to four assists instead of just one. So, that's kind of nice. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, check out the website. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, and thank you guys for watching.